Whoa! The streamer in question is Mo, better known as Yasuo, but most of you probably already know who he is. He was one of, if not the most popular, Yasuo OTP in League. If you don't know what one trick pony means, it means that he plays one champion only and he excels at it. In this case, it was, well, I think it's obvious. Become. He gained fame by mastering Yasuo, climbing to challenger rank, the highest rank in League, and even solo killing Faker, an iconic figure for League who won multiple League World Championship and is probably the most known name in the community. Solo killed Faker, it's lit. Mid flash, mid ghost. Hey! I'm insane. His skill isn't the only thing that made him stand out. He has some of the most unique outbursts of anger I've ever seen. You can call me buddy, dad, whatever you want, my guy. <laughs> ah! Ah! What is going on? Are you gonna help me? Are you AFK? You fucking idiot! Help me! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Please, Tarzan, please, Tarzan, end the game. Tarzan, please end the game! Tarzan, end the game, motherfucker! This matched with the previously mentioned mastery of the champion made him a very entertaining person to watch and his longtime friend and editor Pinoy knew how to edit those videos to make them as funny and as entertaining as possible. This would go on for a couple of years and would be the golden era for Yasuo. His viewership was increasing, the sponsors were getting better and better and the content was peaking with Twitch rivals where he and Tyler 1 clashed heads. Twitch Rivals is an event where biggest content creators on Twitch compete against each other in various games such as League, Valorant, Fall Guys, Minecraft, etc. This Twitch Rivals stood out as it was Tyler Run vs Yasuo and since Yasuo was a big up and coming League content creator and Tyler One got unbanned almost a year ago, this event was destined to be huge. This gentleman, I'm gonna allow you to go take your seats, but everyone else stick around because when we come back, we're getting game two. <laughs> It was during that peak that he would also be signed to 100 Thieves, one of the biggest gaming orgs, featuring names such as Nateshot, Drake, Valkyrie, and others. Yasuo, the future? of 100 Thieves. Who's Yasuo? He's the face of Twitch. He's running YouTube, he's running Twitter, he's running Instagram, he's running every social media you can think of. He's very helpful, he's always honest, he's pretty handsome, he's rich, he's tall, he's very loving, he's reliable, he's always there for you, he's very sensible, he's very smart, and the best part of all, he's humble. But no long after, Yasuo's passion for League would start to fall off. The changes Riot implemented into the game weren't received positively, and the game started feeling washed up and dull. Oh, oh my shit system, shit system! They're not gonna give me! I... Dude, Riot, I've gotten jungle seven times out of 25 games. They have not gave me mid once. You wanna know why? Because no one fucking cares about your positional ranks, man! Take it out! No one cares! They won't swap me the role, and I have to fucking play for a role I don't care about, man! Fucking hell! This, matched with a lot of new games coming out, caused a lot of League streamers to branch out to new games like Apex Legends, Valorant, Fortnite, and other. Some got a paid sponsorship, some didn't, but the fact remains that big content creators started slowly moving away from League. Mo was one of them. He didn't fully quit League at this point. He would often play a few hours of Apex and then switch back to League, but it was clear that he's trying to branch out. 
the problem was that his viewership was built on the culture and memes around the league. People that watch him for his Yasuo skills would go to a different streamer, causing his viewership to decline ever so slightly. As you can imagine, this negatively impacts not only the channel, but the streamer as well, because every time he would do something other than League, the chat would spam things like, where is League? When are you going to play League? And did Yasuo quit League? This was basically an ultimatum. Will Yasuo continue doing what he likes, or continue to do something he lost passion for just to stay afloat? By the title of this video, I think you can already tell what he chose. For a while, he was still playing League, but he gave his YouTube channel to his editor Pinoy with full power to control the content. Pinoy would keep uploading the stream highlights to YouTube, but it just wasn't the same. YouTube was changing, viewers were getting bored of the same content, and he started losing views on videos. This was inevitable, as League isn't a game that offers a lot of innovation with its content. No matter how creative you are, you will hit a wall sooner or later. This packed with all of the previously mentioned issues and his recent breakup with his girlfriend must have made him feel exhausted and lost. He took a couple of weeks off as a vacation and went to Mexico to reset and hopefully come back rejuvenated. But even if it helped him to feel better, his channel would still struggle. This would reach its peak when he started streaming slots and other gambling games and switched from being a league streamer to being a gambling streamer. He averages around 2 to 6k viewers and while he still plays a bit of League or Apex, his viewership is stagnant. He is barely mentioned outside the gambling sphere and the significant portion of his viewers stopped watching him because of the change. I just want to add a quick disclaimer that I am not making this video to throw dirt on his name or to say what he should have done. The choices he had to make weren't easy and the only one who knows if they were right for sure is Yasuo himself. While making this video, drama happened involving Slicker and his gambling addiction. I'm not going to get into that right now as I'm sure everyone heard of what happened, but the main thing that came out of that whole situation is the fact that Twitch banned gambling on their platform. For some, this is good news, but for other, not so much. As you can imagine, gambling streamers got hit pretty hard and were forced to switch to a different category hoping their viewers would stay. Yasuo himself said that he has one month left to gamble on stream, after which he will switch to either Apex, League or some other game. This could be a turning point for his YouTube and Twitch career. I have personally started watching him around 2019 and I honestly wish the best of luck to the future of his career as he was the person I'd watch after a hard day at school and or work and it will make my day a little bit better. As of right now, Yasuo is still streaming slots daily, but he said he would switch to variety streams after the October 18th, as that is the date gambling would get banned off of Twitch. To see how this change turns out for him, we will just have to wait and see. And to end this video, I decided to show an old video where I 1v1 Mo. You do multiplayer COD as well as Warzone? Mainly Warzone. I'm Zakali in Disc, okay. Yo! What's up, buddy? Boots and a pink ward. Let's run it. Alright, alright, alright. Right, so, are you shaking? Are you nervous? How are you feeling? Not at all. I'm chilling. I'm vibing. How about you, man? Alright, I, I just passed I just passed a driving test. Uh, today, I'm feeling very confident. I have my boys rooting on me watching your stream. <laughs> so, I'm just, just, you know, just saying. Alright, well, congrats on the driving test. That's great. Uh, Thanks, man. You're not gonna win this one though, I'll be honest with you. But you know, uh, I, I believe in you. Delusional. <laughs> delusional. <laughs> Alright, place your pink in ward. Okay, not there, but close enough. Right. It's, okay. it's okay. It works. It works. It works, yeah, it's something. Alright, we start at one minute. Hell yeah. I'll i I'm I'm gold one, I'll prove that gold E U N E is better than Challenger. Sure. Go for it, man. <laughs> prove it. Alright. Okay, man. <laughs> Chill. Oh, what's up? Okay, man, like... Okay, it's doomed, actually. I'm shaking, I'm <laughs> crying. Okay, stop, okay. Like, how? <sighs> we think I'm... Okay, you gotta that's dodge, bullshit. homie, you got hit by nah, every single that's, one. That's bullshit, that's bullshit, hitbox. It's like... I'm not... <laughs> okay, I just doomed. Oh, okay! <laughs> nah, you're done, you're done, you're, you lost, you lost, you yeah, actually lost it? now. 
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> nice shot, bro. Nice I didn't. Guy. I I did not have that like feel that it's. Uh, you know I had to win, but fuck it. <laughs> hey, fair play, fair play. My homie's gonna fucking laugh at me, but you know what? It's fair play. Hey, all good. You did decent. You just got hit by like almost every single one except the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. Hey, well, GG's, bro. You want to well, shout out your boys or say anything? GG's. Uh, well, he doesn't really upload, but I started uploading on YouTube, you know, Zakali on YouTube, come flame me there, like, it's free. Uh, shout out to Twitch <laughs> chat for flaming me in chat right now. Uh, shout out to all my boys, and shout out to Mo, Mello, and Bella, and everyone. Peace. Respect, respect, brother. Alright, have a good one, man. Be safe. Peace. Peace.